Okay, my name is Bob Duncan. This is Fruit Trees and More. We're located at Sydney, just north of Victoria on Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. And today we're going to talk about growing lemons and limes in a climate where it previously was not considered possible. There's a basic distinction with citrus. There are what are called acid citrus and there are sweet citrus. And as it happens, the acid citrus, meaning lemons and limes and the Japanese citrus like sudachi and kabosu and so on, all of these citrus will ripen to perfection with relatively low summer temperatures, which is a condition that we have here in the Pacific Northwest. Our climate could easily be described as a modified Mediterranean climate uh, with the exception that our summers are cool and our winters are mild. So this opens the door to growing acid citrus. Growing sweet citrus under these conditions would not be as, uh, as simple, simply because they require a lot more heat. Okay, so going back to the uh, subject of the day, which is growing lemons and limes uh, on Vancouver Island. Uh, essentially, what is required uh, is a sheltered location. So typically, a south or a southwest wall with an overhang is ideal for growing citrus. Now, this system that we've developed here, I've been growing citrus for more than 20 years. So I have a lemon tree that measures uh, five meters wide by almost three meters high and produces about 400 lemons reliably every year. And we can actually pick lemons every day of the year, simply because lemons blossom from, in our climate from late March to the middle of October. So we have lemons in all different stages of development on the tree at the same time. Whereas citrus, especially lemons and limes, will store on the tree in perfect condition for several months after they're ripe. So having a, a tree that blooms over a long period of time and, and fruit that will store on the tree in perfect condition for several months, translation, we can pick lemons and limes every day of the year. Now, if you look at this tree behind me, this is uh, one of the medium-sized lemons that I have on the property here. This tree is about 10 years old. It measures approximately three meters wide by about two meters high. And as you can see, there are several hundred lemons. The crop that you see on here is probably about 70% of what this tree has produced this year. So it is absolutely thick with fruit, and this is a normal course of events here. So this tree right here is a lime, and it may at first uh, confuse you because the fruit is yellow like a lemon. But in fact, limes, if you leave them on the tree, they will go yellow the same as a lemon. So these limes are in perfect condition. Um, they were green in November, December, but now it's the middle of February here, and um, they, they have gone yellow. However, there is absolutely no loss in quality. Um, the, the juiciness and the true lime flavor is the same as if they were still green. So here we've got, as I said, lemon and lime trees. Now, um, the climate that we have here is definitely a cool summer, mild winter. And virtually all of our winter weather, citrus are absolutely fine with. However, occasionally we do get what we locally call Arctic outbreaks. An Arctic outbreak for us is a temperature between minus 5 and minus 10. The fruit and the tree is not hardy to minus 10. So when these events happen, which are relatively rare, and in fact in an average winter, I would say that between five and ten nights uh, in an average winter, the temperature is cold enough that your fruit, which will freeze at minus three, is in danger of freezing. So for those five to ten nights, uh, you have to do something, you're, or you're at risk of either losing your fruit at minus three, or losing your tree if, for instance, a Meyer lemon is hardy to minus six. So if it goes below minus six, you're in danger of losing your tree. 
you need to have a strategy to protect your citrus. So if you look carefully in the tree here, you'll see that there's Christmas lights. And these Christmas lights, these are the old style Christmas lights. Each bulb is 7 watts, so a string of 25 bulbs is 175 watts. So it's basically like having two light bulbs on. So what I have for a tree this size or a tree this size, one string of Christmas lights is more than enough when it's covered with remay and the Christmas lights underneath, even at minus 10, the temperature does not drop below freezing. Uh, at almost zero intervention, in other words, through an entire winter, having the equivalent of two light bulbs on for five to 10 nights, you do the math on that and you'll come out between one and two dollars worth of electrical energy to preserve a tree with hundreds of lemons on. So, uh, and then there are some winters here where it actually doesn't go below minus three, where you don't require any energy, whatever. So that's basically the system that we've developed to successfully grow high quality lemons and limes in our climate here near Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. I hope that the, the suggestions and hints I provided will, will be useful to you, especially if you live in the Pacific Northwest or Northern Europe, I think you'll find this system quite adaptable to your conditions. Thank you very much.